It's time for you to take center stage and shine like the star that you truly are. Welcome in my amazing Taurus to your weekly reading. I hope you're doing well. I do want to briefly apologize for being slightly late getting yours out as well as Leo's. I did do both readings in full, but Spirit pushed me to delete them and redo them for sake of quality for you. You deserve the best. Key wording. That's a message in of itself. Um, but to begin your reading, we're going to pull three, I think, of these divine animal oracles and then um, further clarify and speak upon each of which with the mermaid tarot. But um, I did pre-shuffle and we have the change card at the bottom of the deck, chameleon. Definitely being a week where change is on the mind, change is taking place. And I feel like you're even um, seeing a highlight come to be in your mind, your awareness of uh, certain changes from the past, being informed that you are making the right choices. Um, and maybe reminded of that uh, in certain ways as well. But it's also a week where you're being shown the way while you're maybe showing the way to others or somebody else um, in a different situation or in a different uh, manner. But it's a time for you to recognize the amount of prosperity currently is simply a taste of what lies ahead. And I feel like you're changing in order to align with this prosperity, to feel like this prosperity is more aligned with you at that point moving forward. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like any little struggles throughout the week are so temporary, so have patience, all right? Little slip ups and uh, maybe clumsy moments. Um, but I feel like there are certain reminders throughout the week before we jump into the cards um, of who and what's actually meant for you. When somebody or something, regardless of uh, what or who that is, makes you nervous, makes you uncomfortable, uh, yeah, makes you uneasy, um, or even strips away your confidence in that moment to an extent, if not fully, not for you, okay? This may be something where that person or that situation once was for you, but isn't any longer, um, and I'm hearing is on the way out, um, or you're on the way out, but a lot of which I feel as if this is something or somebody who, or what is meant to be temporary in general as I struggle, um, that was purposeful, um, and this is very much preparatory and informing um, helpful for your future. Anyways, for Taurus for this upcoming week. Yeah, it's a week where people are going to be turning their heads to look at you. Don't be surprised, uh, regardless of what you're doing in that moment. Um, definitely, if you're online, you're going to be gaining a ton of attention in that sense. Um, things are on the up and up. It feels like numbers are going to be part of your week, like Leo. Um, it feels like things are improving. Things are about to improve even more so in the upcoming weeks, um, especially for those of which who haven't expected um, and for some, a chosen change around the corner. But um, we do have the fear card, hyena, as well as the beauty card, swan. And let's pull one more. Okay, we're going to go with, ooh, this, the release card. Um, so I do want to hold these up real quick, and then we'll speak upon them, okay? So I feel like you're fearing the future a little bit, if we're being completely honest. You might be fearing the possibilities in a negative sense of what's at hand, um, a lot of which you're very much focused on not having a sense of lack um, it, moving forward. But I'm hearing the word replenish. It's a time for you to uh, release in certain ways in order to gain more moving forward. It's a time for you to release to make room for even something that's meant to um, be replenished to come in throughout this week. But it feels more a time of release and uh, accomplishing through it all in order to prepare to make room for your bright future. But um, the, the fears of others as well as taking a highlight, whether you're meant to help them, whether they're trying to help you, whether uh, this is just feeling irrelevant, um, okay, within your mind, your awareness, I just feel like other people are feeling very fearful of their future, maybe yours, um, your current day situation. There's a sense of you uh, being pushed at certain points in the week to focus on what's growing and what's not, what's prospering, what's not, you know, within you, outside of you, what you need to be doing more of, what you need to be doing less of. This is all going to be taking a highlight, um, being drawn to the tree here. And uh, trees do represent, if you uh, search it, uh, spiritual replenishment, okay? So, uh, is that it? Spiritual replenishment? Uh, as I can't even speak? Yes. Anyways. Moving right along, I really feel like your individual beauty, the beauty of what you create and develop, the beauty of your path with its imperfections is definitely a part of this time period. But I also sense there's an elegance about you at other points where you um, impress others to the furthest extent. The way you're able to touch something and turn it to an imperfection but gold. 
the way you're even able to accomplish what other people view as perceive as perfection interesting let's move on I feel like there's a courage about you that does have a little bit of fear uh, tied up into it or stemming from it all the meanwhile but I feel like there's a lot that's being spoken um, shared through your eye contact and even at other times a lack there of which um, I'm hearing when you squint your eyes you're tired okay when you squint your eyes you're tired you need to be taking care of yourself as far as stuff like that um, anytime okay there might be one point recently or throughout this week for somebody where you didn't sleep at all or very you slept very little that was protection okay or it is um, something of a something negative could have occurred uh, or was going to occur while you were sleeping uh, but let's pull one card for each one with a star card we have the five of cups as well as the eight of pentacles yeah so the star card pairing with the fear card my friend it's a week where as you're being noticed for uh, being a dreamer is what i'm hearing for being um, somebody who maybe is going to or has been taking risks or both um, either way i feel like there's fear in regards to stemming from other people somebody else maybe um, you uh, there's this is tied up uh, to that dream or that goal that wish for the future um, hoping wishing dreaming imagining and spirit saying you will manifest okay you are that powerful at this point so with the five of cups coming out what are we expecting uh, the worst of what are we expecting negatively what are we potentially going to enhance and uh, create more of negatively so I feel like in the midst of which um, there's a need to adjust your perspective slightly, but there's also a need to uh, remember what you can't control. If somebody else is uh, fearful, negative, expecting the worst, or just um, taking on the wrong mindset and approach, that's not something for you to try to control, right? If somebody has bad energy, that is not something for you to control. Um, so focusing or refocusing, aiming your attention, your resources towards your own individual world, what is within your control, um, and therefore uh, uh, beautifying your current perspective situation and your path moving forward there's also a feeling of you being pushed to at certain points throughout the week um, notice an imperfection about your beauty so then you can fix it it's going to be minor or two uh, minor or two it's going to be certain minor imperfections and this will enhance your glow more it'll make you more confident and will remind you to keep up with certain things like that okay um, I feel like somebody needs to remember when your external reality looks or is chaotic, say you have a messy bedroom or a messy housing situation or desk or something, that's a bad sign about what you are dealing with. Um, or maybe it reminds you of a change you need for the future. It describes or speaks upon what you're going through, okay, more than you realize in certain moments. But the Jaguar card has the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. There's um, effort that needs to be put forth towards release. You might find that a body of art or a body of work uh, of somebody else's, and for some of which could as well or in general be yours, but this is going to inform you of what's going to and maybe as well needs to be released for the future. There's a sense of you feeling more bold and courageous towards the end of the week and that will come through in any sense of um uh, putting yourself out there through levels of vulnerability people are going to notice you as somebody who's changing improving growing and not giving up okay that also was uh part of leo's reading but i really feel like you're going to know more than meets the eye you may already to an extent right um but by the end of the week you're going to uh, know more than meets the eye and this is going to be part of your key to freedom okay part to your key to success moving forward let's pull a couple more for Taurus where there's discomfort my friend that will not last much longer whether it's going to be a tower moment or more within your control it is up to you at that point okay well it's up to you up until a certain point so let's make a wise choice um, you might already be but the four of cups speaks upon if you look at this imagery some of which need to um, uh, recognize when they're overdoing it with consumption or maybe with a bad habit or two otherwise but um, yeah naturally the four of cups speaks upon um, all right when you're not in the mood when you're not feeling uh, inspired or connected to something or somebody but as well it does uh, talk about who and what's not meant for you the judgment card in reverse 
there's a level of um, dishonesty that has taken place or will in the upcoming week with somebody else and this is going to inspire you okay to maybe make a change for the future but i as well feel like it's a week where a lot of you will squash uh, or see the lack of honesty with yourself dissipate it's like taking a hard look at your current situation and being clear and concise with yourself with that self-talk and therefore uh, as well communicating to the universe and the spirit what you need to and what you're going to change moving forward and what you're not going to withstand or uh, have to put up with anymore moving forward. It feels like uh, some of which onto the reading, if we're going to be completely honest, you're sick of your own shit. Okay. And that is self-improvement, my friend. That is growth. Um, and I feel like as I'm getting a full body of goosebumps, you might as well for a select few feel that way about somebody else or another situation in your life. And it doesn't have to be just one of what I, what I just mentioned, but uh, this is a very, very important turning point for you where things are going to improve greatly and more success, more rewards, other levels of abundance will flow in because of it, okay? This doesn't go unnoticed. But the Knight of Cups, the Lover's Card, and the Wheel of Fortune, it's a time for you where you're filling your own cup. You're being pushed to more so do so. You might be thinking about an emotional individual in your midst or that is within a situation. Um, even if you don't see them or interact with them often or at all, they're part of the week, okay? Um, and if, what they're going through could teach you something or remind you of something. But the wheel is turning in your favor, my friend. It's a week where you're being reminded that you can steer your ship in whatever direction you want, but trusting your intuition wholeheartedly and letting spirit guide you is going to benefit you even more. And you'll end up where you're meant to be at the right time kind of like you may be experiencing or have recently, but I really feel like you're being reminded once again that you're making the right choices and people are going to love you this week, all right? So uh, get ready, my friend, as I struggle for the attention to rain on in, for heads to turn, for people to notice you, to be discovered even for some. And it's a time for you to remember that you're a freaking star, okay? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light, Taurus. Go enjoy your week and I'll definitely see you next time.